Hi, I'm Mark Camosio and we're here at Pete's Airgun Farm and I'm here to show you um, one of the um, key junior rifles that are on the airgun market at the moment. Uh, this is the Gamo Junior Hunter and uh, it really is one of um, my favourite um, guns that I've come across that's specifically designed for juniors. There's a lot of guns that are sort of marketed as junior rifles um, but this is a totally scaled down air gun and it's, um, it sort of shows the way to go um, if we're going to promote the sport and of course getting newcomers and new blood into the sport of shooting is vital if we're going to um, sustain it. Um, this basically is uh, it's a traditional brake barrel <coughs> um, spring piston air gun and um, it's basically this is uh, 99 pounds um, so it's, it's a good, so it's sub 100 pounds, so it's a great sort of entry level um, junior um, package as such. And uh, this is, it's only in 177 calibre um, for the record. Um, it's quite low powered, but again, if you're just starting out and you want to learn shooting, power is just not the most important factor. So the Gamo have chosen to cleverly keep everything really scaled down. So by keeping the power, it's about three and a half foot pounds. By doing that, it means that um, you've got a much weaker spring inside. It's so much easier to cock um, for juniors. So it's, it's, a, it's a really clever little gun. Um, so I'll just show you working. So it's conventional spring piston. Very, very easy cocking mechanism. Surprisingly smooth. <coughs> so you just, just push your pellet home on the breech. Again, make sure it's completely flush and you're not damaging any seals. Lock the barrel up, and then you've got a um, two stage trigger there. So just fire that off. There you go. Um, there is some creep in the trigger, but um, as I say, because everything's um, low powered, the, again, the sears haven't got to work so hard, so it's quite an acceptable trigger pull. There's a bit of creep on it, but it's all very acceptable. Um, basically, you've got, uh, as I say, it's 4.4 pounds in weight, um, so that's really, really uh, slimmed down, and it makes everything very manageable for, for youngsters. Uh, so I say, it's a two-stage trigger. It's an, a manual safety catch. So um, it's only, you're only going to use it if you want to. That's done with a little tab there, which is all very neat. Um, you've got dovetail rails, obviously, to take this scope, which is um, good. But it does come with um, open, quite nice little open sights, which are the fibre optic variety. So you've got a green, um, green dots that are used for the rear sight uh, to make your aperture. And then you've got a red, um, red dot for the, your hooded foresight. Uh, these are finger wheel adjustable for the rear sight, so um, it, that all works rather nicely. Um, basically, I mean, as far as performance goes, although it's very low powered um, and we want it that way, as I say, so it's easy to manage, I've still had surprisingly good results with this, um, which sort of stopped me in my tracks. I mean, my records show at 20 yards, I've had three quarter inch groups with the open sights. Um, once I've put a scope on it, I've had half inch groups at 30 yards, that's using air arms, double O field, quality pellets of course, but um, it just shows you that um, you've got in proper inherent accuracy in this, which is only going to encourage the younger shooter. Um, so I've been really impressed with this, and it's, it's, if you've got youngsters who want to get into shooting, I hotly recommend one of these, it's, uh, it takes some beating. That's the Gamo Junior Hunter.